When will Italy actually know if there is a deal, if we have a government, and more importantly, if the president of the republic backs it? Well, we've had a, we've had a lot of deadlines and a lot of meetings over the last week. Um, these two parties have shown that they're pretty good at blowing through deadlines and, and uh, continuing to talk. They talked late into the night yesterday, and they're talking right now. Um, right now, the, the indication is that probably nothing will be final between the two of them until next week, um, largely because both of the parties have pledged to, uh, to run the program by their, by their voters, possibly over the weekend. Uh, Five Star will, plans to do that online, and uh, the league uh, in a series of ballots in piazzas across the country. So we still have some, uh, some hurdles before it goes to the, to the president. Alan, what's the impact on EU leaders? I mean, I know they're talking there, you know, they're talking about trade, but would they also talk about uh, Italian politics and the impact it could have, for example, on possible further European integration? I would be amazed if they didn't talk about Italy. But, uh, of course, remember that uh, Prime Minister Gentiloni, who's here, is not really the, peop the person that they need to speak to. Um, at the same time, they will be relieved from the, uh, by these reports suggesting that, the, the, if I might say, the, the more radical elements of this potential government programme are being rolled back. Um, it will also remind them of the fact that this new Italian government, if it does come to be, it's effectively, it will, ha it will be demanding things of Europe and the European leaders, uh, which gives them uh, a certain amount of power in, in respect to whether they accede to these demands or whether they, they hold tough and, and force the Italian government to effectively back down. But, Alan, would that freak out the Germans? If you look at, the, you know, the German government and maybe some of, um, you know, the uh, banking union debt relief that could be on the table, does a populist government in Italy uh, mean that the Germans won't sign up to anything? I mean, undoubtedly, of course, this will upset uh, Merkel. Uh, it's the last thing that she needs at the moment when she's focusing on, uh, on, on trade, on Iran. She's meeting Putin tomorrow. Um, at the same time, as I said, I do. I, I feel that they, first of all, they have to wait and see if this government actually comes to be. Uh, and secondly, I think you know she is rather methodical. She'll wait and then deal with it when it comes. But but these reports already backing down this this Italian government uh, will be somewhat heartening to to Germany and the others. Um, Gerald, you know, who's being talked about as a prime minister? I know there were like three or four names and then maybe the two leaders wanted to do a rotating basis. But what are you hearing on the ground? Well, three or four names is, is, is understanding it. We've heard uh, maybe 10 names over the last week or so. Uh, the most recent thing uh, that we have heard is a report in the Daily La Repubblica this morning saying that uh, possibly uh, the Five Star will hold on to the prime minister's position in the government and possibly uh, that uh, Salvini from the League would take the interior ministry, uh, which makes sense because uh, the League is, you know, quite hard line on immigration. So that, that's uh, the thing that we've heard the most recently. We've ha we have heard for sure that uh, most of the ministerial appointments will be political. They definitely want to keep the technocrats out of this government and they want it to be a political government.